In today's journey, we answer the question, what the BBC? And show you what the crafty nerds at Brew Vint Chill have been up to. Here we can see confident Phil with his glass brewing one gallon setup. Although the individual components have been seen before, this is the first time the mash tun, the boil kettle, and hot plate, along with the one gallon glass fermenter, have been seen together. And Phil says that after a few tweaks, he should be ready for another attempt in about a month. And he's not taking any chances this time, as we all remember what happened the last two times he's tried this. But that's why we got him that fancy hot plate, so here's hoping. But other than a few odds and ends that need to be completed around the studio for him to get started, we're really just waiting for a few packages to come in. Some secret weapons, as he says. Although, don't let him fool you, that wart chiller he's bending right now actually never gets used. He just does this from time to time. But in other news, we did set up the fermentation chamber. And we also put in a special camera that allows us to record it 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, during the entire fermentation process. We then used time distortion to speed up the process so that you could enjoy it at your leisure. We will also in the future upload the unedited versions too, for those who have weeks at a time to kill. For the rest of us, we try to keep our videos about 5 to 20 minutes long, so that you can get going to the information you need as soon as possible and get back to brewing. Although this may seem exciting to some people, others may be asking, why does this matter? And if they were to ask Phil, he would say, because he can. But our real reason for doing this is so that you can see the minor changes during the fermentation process and document them for science. But because we're going into territory which hasn't been delved into much before, we find ourselves having to blaze our own trail at every turn. Which is why it always seems that we have to be reinventing how we do what it is we do. For example, this fermentation chamber cannot maintain temperatures very well. Which is why we upgraded to this fermentation chamber, as if you're not learning and evolving, you're dying. This new fermentation chamber that Phil built not only maintains temperatures to an acceptable fault tolerance to simulate home use, but also contains a lot more lights so that we can see what's happening inside the starters a lot better. We then not only upgraded to a camera that had a higher resolution at a better frame rate, but is also protected from the elements with a few minor tweaks that we made so that we can now not only test in high temperatures, but also take this down to a freezing degree to see how these two different yeast strains will react. Both containers have the same starting gravity, but the one on the left was fermented with the EC1118, whereas the one on the right was fermented with SAFL05. Next time, Phil might even put the thermometer in there. But it's not always about the science and all the technical know-how. Sometimes it's just about the experience of two guys that used to work at homebrew shops. We'll talk about all the different ins and outs of the industry, and we'll also talk to people in the industry, such as this guy. My name is Ryan Cottingham. Uh, I am the owner of Witch's Hat Brewing Company in South Lyon, Michigan. We go way back. They even once let us teach a bunch of Boy Scouts how to make root beer from actual roots. Another time, we had a ceramic growler painting party. We love working with local breweries that play a big role in their local communities. If you fit that description and would like us to cover some of your events, give us a shout out at our email listed in the description. But don't forget that Vint is the second word in our name. So it's not just about beer, but also making wine. Although we're mostly sticking with the box kits at this point, we do plan to move on to using actual grapes and fruits later on. Phil is actually quite famous for his classic Johnny Jump Up recipe. And I'm sure if we bribe him enough, he'll share it with us. But until then, we will give wine and venting the same love and respect that we give to brewing. If you are yet to make your first batch of wine, we highly recommend doing it as holiday gifts as it is always a big hit. And much of your brewing equipment can be used for making wine as well. And because we're always learning and adapting, we will be trying to get new and original shots of fermentation processes so that you can see what happens during every stage. Lyle may have fancy degrees in actual scientific disciplines, but Phil brings to the table a degree in photographic technology, so we are able to get shots that others may find difficult. From 3D camera array systems to shooting in alternative light waves. 
and even producing a photographic comic book. So long as it's not something as mundane as a wedding and invisible light spectrum. But it's not all crazy mad science and fancy photography. Sometimes we just like to go through with the last word in our name. Chill. And we do this best by being nerds. So let's see what Rocco has to say about all this. BLT avocado with turkey is amazing. All grilled butter, bacon. I guess it got a little distracted during last year's Tapped in the Ville event. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help keep on top of what's going on around here. Want to do more to help out? Check us out on Patreon in the description below.